So a new bill has been proposed to expand the ATF's powers so that they can implement more gun control. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think the last thing we need to do is expand the ATF's powers and instead we should actually abolish the ATF, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I want to thank a couple sponsors of the channel, the first being Route 66. Route 66 is a range down in San Bernardino. So if you guys came out to the recent Armed in May event with myself and Reno May, you know how amazing that range is. So if you're in LA, if you're in the Southern California area, please go check them out. And also I wanna let you guys know that this content is powered by the Firearms Policy Coalition. So if you wanna join the 2A fight, go head on over to joinfpc.org and help support the Second Amendment cause. So like I said in the intro, a new anti-gun bill has been introduced and this one seeks to expand the inspection powers of the ATF and also seeks to allow them to hire more ATF agents. US Senator Ed Markey out of Massachusetts and Representative Jim Langville out of Rhode Island have introduced Senate Bill 2320 along with a House Companion Bill, which are also known as the Keeping Gun Dealers Honest Act of 2021. So that is the bill we're talking about in this video. The proposed rationale behind this bill is that since a very small fraction of licensed dealers may potentially violate various federal sales laws, therefore the ATF should be given broader discretion to inspect all gun stores, all licensed dealers even more aggressively. And this would expand even to those stores where there is absolutely no evidence that that specific store or licensed dealer has actually violated any laws. Among other provisions, the Keeping Gun Dealers Honest Act would allow the director of the ATF to also hire at least 80 additional agents for the claimed purpose of carrying out additional inspections. So ultimately this would lead to more ATF agents who will be hired to enforce the various 2A violations that the ATF is actually doing. This bill would also increase the number of ATF inspections of all firearms dealers from one time a year to three times per year. So licensed dealers that have done absolutely nothing wrong, there's no evidence that they've done anything wrong, will still be subject to even more ATF inspections and harassments. Ultimately, this bill is an attempt to implement more backdoor gun control. And ultimately, this is taking the form that if you can shut down stores that sell firearms, you obviously prevent law-abiding individuals from having access to those firearms. So again, it's just a backdoor way for the ATF, for Congress to actually implement gun control by not actually banning the firearms themselves, but just pretty much limiting your access to firearms by shutting down stores. Even more concerning with this bill, it seeks to give more discretionary powers to the ATF. This includes discretion on who they will issue firearms dealer licenses to, and they will be given discretion on determining various sanctions and punishments for various sales violations or other violations of federal law. So as you can see, this is concerning because it's not only seeking to give more discretionary powers to the ATF, but it's also giving them the ability to implement harsher punishments for various violations. And now there's no guidelines on what type of violations or what type of punishments. Again, it's completely discretionary up to the ATF. So one of those things could be just shutting down these licensed dealers altogether based on what violation they're hit with. Senator Markey states in his press release on this bill that by increasing inspections and penalties, we can decrease the number of guns falling into the hands of those who should not have them. We need to strengthen accountability measures and equip federal authorities with the tools to enforce the law so that we may prevent further gun violence from taking innocent lives. So that is the basis and the rationale he's put forward for why this bill needs to be passed. And I don't know about you, but right now, in my opinion, the last thing we need is for the ATF to be given more discretionary powers for them to implement even more gun control. In my opinion, what we need is for the ATF's powers to be rolled back because again, keep in mind, this is an agency that is all surrounding around implementing various fundamental rights violations. Their whole business and what they're all engaged in is violating your second amendment rights. Now, for those of you who like to know who the co-sponsors of these various legislations are, when it comes to the Senate bill, the Senate list includes Senators Dianne Feinstein, Sheldon Whitehouse, Tina Smith, Chris Van Holen, Jack Reed, Robert Mendez, Amy Klobuchar, Richard Blumenthal, Cory Booker, Ron Wyden, and Christopher Murphy. So that's the Senate bill, those co-sponsors who signed on to that. The co-sponsors for the legislation in the House include Representative Ed Case, Ted Deutsch, Eleanor Holmes Norton, 
Robin Kelly and Jamie Raskin. So those are the individuals that signed on for that house companion bill. So as you guys can see, this bill seeks to use the super rare instances of various licensed dealer violations or gun store violations that may be major or minor as a rationale to grow the ATF's inspection and enforcement powers, which again, we can all agree the ATF does not need more powers because already they are running rampant in trying to infringe on our second amendment rights. Along those lines, I wanna let you guys know that today is the last day for you guys to leave a comment on the ATF's proposed rules on frames and receivers to redefine what a frame and receiver is, to expand their powers and to allow them to regulate more firearms and infringe on your second amendment rights. Today is the last day for you to leave a comment on that proposed rule. I will leave links down in the details section for you guys to do that. Please go do that. This is an opportunity for you to voice your opinions, to fight back against these uh, ATF. And also I wanna let you guys know that again, that pistol brace comment period will be open a little bit longer than this frames and receivers one. So please go leave a comment on that one as well if you have not yet. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you guys like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It helps to fuel his jet. It signals to YouTube that you guys see value in this video, in this type of two-way news, and then it pushes it to more people. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you for everybody who's liked, commented, and subscribed on these videos. You are definitely having an impact on these videos. You are helping me to reach and educate more people. I cannot thank you enough for all the support you guys have shown me. So again, if you guys don't have a comment in mind, just comment down below that you're commenting to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. You can just simply drop like a fire emoji or a fuel tank emoji. All those things really help the algorithm and it helps to support this channel in these videos. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.